Hey, what's going on guys? And uh, here we are, we're going to start a new series today. Uh, it's probably going to be a short series, but I wanted to play this because I love this game. The old Super Black Bass by Hot B, obviously from 1992. Uh, I played the hell out of this, and uh, I think I beat it like once, but uh, we're going to beat it this time. Uh, probably not immediately, and there's four uh, four tournaments. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, like the main layout is that there's uh, you know two there's a there's four different tournaments, two or one days, and then two or three days, I, if I remember correctly. Uh, but we'll get there when we get there. For now, let's go ahead and start a new game. I think that's the best place to start. And we are going to be good old, how many, oh. let's see here, good old long drink, long drink. <laughs> Good old long drink. There we go. Or, you know what? Actually, we'll do this. We'll be Mr. LD McG Exclamation point! I like it. Mr. LD McG Everyone's been waiting for this guy. So, the basic idea for this game is, you know, if you haven't played it, is to try and catch the five largest fish you can, just like in a real fishing tournament. And the way that we're going to do that is by going around to the different spots in the lake and trying to find the best spots to get... Uh, to get big bass, and there will be other types of fish in the water, uh, but primarily we're going to try and catch the biggest bass we can. So, right now, uh, it's uh, partly cloudy. We got, uh, it's 64 degrees out right now, which is kind of cool. It means that, w that the fish might be in shallow waters, so we'll probably head over that way. And then... It looks like the record bass for this lake is 9 pounds, 14 ounces. So we'll see if we can uh, catch a, a bass a little bit bigger than that. It is possible. So we'll see. So I guess for an early morning start, we'll see if we can... Actually, we're going to go over... Not, we're going to get out of the reeds. And we're going to head over here. Oh, look at that. At the pop already. Well, you gotta like that. Alright. So, we got a pencil bait. We don't want to use a pencil bait here. We... We want to use a bright, and we probably want to use this guy right here. I can't remember all their names. But if I remember correctly, this guy was a wiener. Let's go ahead and get this out there. Got that wind coming from the right. Okay. There we go. And get this little diver running across here, see if we can spot any fish. That's usually like when I've been playing this game, the, the tactic that I've used is generally, oh, look at this big mammer jammer. We have, oh, nope, that's a rainbow trout. That is a rainbow trout. He's big, and he'll, he'll fight, but he's pretty close. He's only about, yeah, look, we're going to get him real fast. That's all right. You know... Good quick shot, just get him in, at least if we're a fighting one that we didn't want to fight. It was fast. Got him off the hook. 7.6 pound rainbow trout. I know, too bad it's not a bass. 
I would have been happy with that. Alright, let's try this other side and see if we can come up with something a little bit better. Not my favorite to get a rainbow trout off the start. Now the thing we have to worry about here is getting snagged. Oh, there's a bass. There is a bass and he likes it. Is there a bigger bass? So this is what we want to look for. Some sometimes Oh, well, we got this guy. I was gonna say sometimes they're a little bit farther down. Oh. Now in these fights, the main thing you want to do is watch out for two things. The jumps, because what'll happen is the tension, which is that blue bar running horizontal, will get uh, will go up super fast, and if it goes all the way to the top, it's going to snap the line. So, eh, 4.4. No, it's not as bad as it could have been. If uh, if it goes all the way across, then you got trouble. Now, on the other side of it, um, you have the uh, it's like a shaking motion, and that's another time that you got to watch out for what you're doing. They will get off the hook if if they're if you try and like reel too much during that uh. Let's get this spot right here. Uh, if you reel in too much during that little shaky phase. So let's see. Now, if I remember correctly, in each of these, um, each of these zones, there's three different spots that you can cast into to find the fish. So we're going to start here. And see, look, there's a small bass. And there is a bigger bass. That's the one we want right there. So let's just try and lure this guy over. Come on, guy. I know you want it. Look at this tasty bit. Get him! Yes! Now, whenever he goes to bite like that, it does help. You can actually press down on the D-pad, and it'll help to actually set the hook. Now, see, this is where we got to be careful. Now, while we're being patient with this fish and wearing it down, one thing that I'll point out are the two blue arrows, the top one being for fish and the bottom one for angler. That is how tired you are is the color, and it'll change down from blue to green to yellow to red. 5.6. Eh, it's not bad. Alright. Got two bass already. Feeling good. And we can replace these uh, if we catch bigger fish, but it's always good to, as early as you can, fill up your live well. That way, at least you've got a full live well of fish. But, um... But then, the arrows moving... Back to the arrows, when they move left and right, that's how much fight they're putting up. Like, you are the fish. So, um, you can kind of you can kind of gauge where um, like when you need to when you need to stop reeling in as much or like kind of just like stop even touching anything on the controller according to how much tension they're putting on it because if they're put if they're uh, putting a lot more fight in, then you know sometimes it's better just to let them wear themselves out. You know, just let them run it out. And maybe we'll see a situation where that comes up. Let's see. Let's get over here. Oh, got a little something right here. What is this guy? Let's go sneak it past him so you can smell it. No. Nope. Now look here, babby fish, we want nothing to do with you. No, you son of a bitch. Well, I'm going to reel you in just because you hooked yourself. But I'm just going to let you know you're a dirty motherfucker for getting on there. Oh, did you see the size of that other fish? I wanted that one, man. Now, as you can see, the color of my angler arrow is actually going down. 
and up. So it's back to dark blue, and then as soon as I start to fight, oh, watch out! And when I start to fight him a little bit, if he, you know, if if you can see, it's changing color ever so slightly to like a a cyan. Oh, watch out! Well, you just hang out right there, buddy. We'll we'll get you in due, in due time. Where are you going? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on back. You're too small to be fighting this much. You're wasting everyone's time. Just get in the boat, and we'll all be happier for it. Thank you. Alright. Let's see how small this guy is. Don't mind me while I take a sip of drink. Mmm. I did not expect that. 5.9, man. And that's what I get for talking smack about you. Alright. Uh, the levels. The levels are interesting. I, I don't remember much about the techniques. I'm going to have to look it up between this tournament and the next so I can actually make good use of it. Uh, the player strength, though, actually very specifically has to do with how well you fight the fish. And, uh, you know, higher strength will let you have... Uh, a better fighting ability, be able to like reel them in, you won't get tired as much. It doesn't really do much for the uh, tension though. Let's go in the reeds over here. See if we can come up with something. It's still pretty early. No? Alright. They're not really digging that too much. We'll try up in here. And it's a little deep for them. We'll head somewhere else for the minute. Oh, out in open water. Maybe there's something over here by the spillway. Hello? Housekeeping? You want me to hook your mouth? They don't want it. Um, you know, real quick, I'll take a second and talk about the little menus down here. Because we'll be using them a little bit. Uh, the first menu is this little sun menu, and what it is, it, it actually gives you the data about the, the spot that you're at. So I'm in open water right now, and it tells me that the temperature is 68 degrees, uh, which is still kind of cool. And then it gives you, like, the little you know, fish fact, you know, in early morning, bass are in shallow areas. And also the tips about, uh, about where the fish will actually be, so it says in cloudy weather they'll be closer to the surface. Uh, second... We have our live well. So it shows like where we actually caught the fish at. So we got two in the weed beds and one in the waterway. How long the fight took. And uh, and then the weight. And so you can actually see your total weight that you have in the live well. And then in your, you know any other fish that you caught. I got that dastardly rainbow trout. Alright. Uh, your angler data, which you know you see whenever you level. And then uh, if you want to know where you stand, here's the top 10 update. Uh, and I believe it updates like every like every hour, or I mean every half hour. So like 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 30, and so on. But uh, as of right now, we are on top. Which is to be expected this early since we've got so many fish. And then if you want to hide this, then you can do that. I don't do it very often. All right, so let's head up here. Maybe uh, anything by the docks? Oh, we got a little something. Let's see what it is. Hey there, buddy. All right, let's see. Where is this? Where is this dock at? Way over here. So, it's still a little early for there to be super big fish hanging out by the dock, I would think. 
closer to midday would be when you would find them hiding under there. But, um, stranger things have happened in the world of super black bass. There is a bass right there. Ripe for the picking. We don't see anything too big. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a bluegill. I can tell you right now that's a bluegill. Any of these other fish will do. Come on. Three bass and a bluegill. Give me that bass. Get the fuck away from my... There we go. I don't care how small you are. You're better than a bluegill. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on back. Nope. Don't you... Don't jump around like that. Ain't no crisscross shit happening. Come on down. Come on. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Alright, you ready? Come on. Let's... Oh! Well, guess not. Jump it out, buddy. Jump it out. Well, we'll get this little small guy in and see if we can't wrangle up a couple others. we still got plenty of time. Still got plenty of fishing to do. See, he's, t he's wearing himself out. Whoa, watch out. Bad time to press the buttons. Now he's really wearing himself out now. Oh, shit, watch out. Now, as you heard that little... Oh, heard that little tinkling? Once you get over halfway on the tension... It starts to play the little the little tinkling noise to let you know that you're getting close to uh, a line snap. All right. Oh shit! Five point C. This is this is my problem. I'm sitting here. I need to just talk shit about every fish I catch, and they're gonna be bigger than I thought. All right. Let's try heading up this way. This is mostly deep water action. I don't really expect... a whole lot, to be honest. Well, this is a little shallow spot. Any of you guys hanging out around here? How's this looking? We still, it's still cloudy. All right, nothing there. Check these rocks over here. Nope. Oh. Got somebody hanging out. It's about midway. It could be all right. We'll cast out and see what we find. Yeah, that'd be good. We could pull it down. Uh, let's try over this way first. I'm feeling lucky. All right. Hello. Is anyone here? Are there any fish at home? This isn't looking good. This is this is looking like the generic pattern where you don't see much. I don't know if it's just in my head or not, but it seems like when you when you see this basic this basic pattern of uh of sea ground and water, you don't find many fish. Just like I didn't find any fish. So we'll try over to the right and see if we can score something over this way real quick. I mean, we're already here. It doesn't hurt. And we're already four fish in the, in the live well. And then, oh, alright. It's a little bit better. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we want to look around. We want to shop. We want to shop for a bigger fish. And we appreciate your enthusiasm. Yeah, it looks like another bluegill. Yeah. No, that's a proper bluegill. So we'll take we'll take this guy. Come on. No, we'll take this up. No, 
We don't want you. Let's see if we can get one of these. Nope. We don't want that. Come on. Come on. I know you want it. Come and get it. Dinner served. Oh, shit. Well. Alright, well, we'll pull this bluegill in. Just to prove it's a bluegill. Come on, man. Don't fight me too much. I ain't afraid to cut the line on you. Come on. Come on. Who's a good bluegill? Who's a good bluegill? Yeah. That's right. Come on. It, you know, they're a lot a lot prettier than the other ones, too. I'll tell you that. Look better than the than the bass. Look at that little guy. Point four. That is not a nice fish. Hell, that's not even a perch. All right, we'll head on out of here. Anybody hanging out in here while we're passing by? Hello. Knock, knock, knocking on Bassin's door. Let's try the reeds again. Might catch a little something. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? No, I don't want to weigh in. Thank you. Alright. Oh. Well, there was something there. But we're going to head back over this way. Let me check up here in the weeds again. See if we can rope-a-dope some fish. Come on. I know you guys are here. Oh, there we go. Right, let's back up. Now let's get up in there. Alright. Well, let's try this right side. We did alright over here before. Uh, yeah, let's try over here. This looks good. Scoot. Oh, scree, scree. Scree, scree. Okay. Anybody up top? Nobody up here, so we're just gonna catch these guys on the bottom half. And we've got a couple of fish right there. And we might have one hanging out up in these in these weeds somewhere. Oh, look at that jammer. What is that? Is that a rainbow? It's a rainbow trout. Oh. That's a bummer. Let's drive her this way. Alright. That's a good spot. Oh, no! Alright, well... Let's get another one. Toss it out there. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit to the right of that. There we go. And I don't like losing a lure that way. I'd rather lose it to a big fish, but... can't always get what you want. Alright, hello weed bits. Where are the weeds at? Where are my weeds at? This looks like the same. Is that that rainbow trout again? We waking up the same fish? Indeed. Indeed we are. 
Let's try all the way over here. And see if we can't rope us a little something better than that. Went ahead and sweep the floor with this thing. Hello. Is anyone here? Is there anyone home? There's a couple of bass. And if we get one to come, yeah, we'll probably just take it. Oh, come on, guy. I know you like it. It's right here. There we go. <laughs> the fastest catch of all time. Yeah, see, that's a small bass. That's what I expected all those other ones to be. But it just didn't happen. Alright. It's 920. See how our weather's looking. It's starting to warm up. And we'll head up this way. Anybody in these weeds? Mm -hmm. Nope. Well, it's waterway. Then we'll find something here. Yeah. Love to hear that pop. Alright, let's go straight on out. Boop. Nice big, nice big toss. Get out there. Alright, immediately we see a fish. Let's go ahead and sweep the floor with this thing and see if we can find anything bigger it might be something I don't know though I'm starting to get, starting to have my doubts at 30 feet all right I think we might have to move over and cast out because we don't really want to catch that one we want to find ourselves a much better fish than that To the right. To the right. Alright. Get on out there. Get out there, son. Alright. Anybody out here? I don't think we got out far enough. So we're going to go ahead and pull it in. And toss it a little bit further out. All right, come on. Nah, there ain't shit. There ain't shit over this way. All right, so we're gonna go to the left. Check over this way and see if we can find ourselves a better fish. Alright. What do we got? Oh, that looks like a bluegill. Tell you what, it doesn't look like a big ass bass. But this guy's a bass. Mmm, it's kind of small. Got that teeny tiny mouth. Ain't good for nothing but talking smack. Come on. Oh, there's that shake. Now that's where you gotta be careful, because you do that, you can lose them. Alright. 
Yeah, there's bigger bass, but I'm replacing... That's almost a two-pound gain right there, man. And we got a level. Feeling pretty good. Alright. Mosey on back down. Anybody? Bueller? Bueller? Oh, back up. Alright. I heard it right about here. Alright. Going out for the big fish. Come on, Sally. Looking for that shadow. Where's that shadow fish? Give me that lunker. Let's break this lake record. Alright, nothing up top. Well, a couple of average fish. Oh, we got some... We got some mud getting kicked up. And it's and it's a rainbow. Well, let's see if we can rope a dope this bass. There we go. Oh, come on, come on back. Where are you going? Oh. You know, if you like jumping so much, I got well, I got a trampoline in the boat just for you. It's got your name written on it. Mine. Oh, I lost him. Alright. Well, that's fine. He was probably a runt anyways. Let's see. How are we looking? 69.8. Still a little cool. Anybody in the reeds? Because if anybody knows anything, they know like a bass likes to read. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised I haven't found anything in the reeds yet. Check out here. Oh, there we go. Got a little something. All right. And it's about midway, so it's probably not terribly big, but at least it's something we can cast at. Anybody here? This is looking. This is looking kind of fishless. Yeah, there ain't nothing there. Let's go ahead and move on over and take, take a look on the other side. What we got over here? Here, fishy, 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 fish. Some, some weeds over here. Maybe we can find us something to rope up. Something hanging out down there. It's moving now. Alright, what is it? Nope, get away. Anyway, at least see this other fish before you take off with it. 
No. Yeah, come on. Come on, bass. There. Nope. Come on. Get a real bite on it. Nah. Bluegill scared him off. Alright, well. We'll ski daddle. It's a shame. Could have been the one. Alright. Now I've found some pretty good fish right here before. Oh. So maybe we'll... Maybe we'll find us something pretty. Pretty big. <laughs> To the right. You know, something's making noise right there. What that is? Oh, that's a bass. That is a bass, boys. Nope, get away. We got a big one. We got a big fish to tend to. Come on. Smell. Nope, get off of that. No, we want this bit. Come on. Come on. Yes, all right, here we go, here we go, got the good fight. Nope. Calm down. No, I mean, not you, me. All right, here we go. Pull him in. Pull him in. Give him a little bit of fight. Try and wear him. Oh, calm down. Now, a good thing here is if they like to jump themselves out, man, you just go ahead and let them do it, don't touch nothing, just let them jump, 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 because then you can really uh, wear them down real fast. And they'll wear themselves down. Alright. Yeah, do that, do more of that. That's what we want. Come on, almost there. We're almost there, you got it. Yes! Alright, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Oh, six pounds. Well, that's not bad. Another pound and a half gain. Alright. Alright, well, let's get a look at the standings. Now, see? They're catching up. 28.4, I need to get some big fish. I'm doing all right right now, but that's not going to hold up come midday. Uh, no. Let's see, 73. This could be a good time to be over here. All right, yeah. Let's see if we can pull one of these lunkers out from under the dock. Off to the right, no. So I head over here. And let's get it up in there. Alright. Hello? Anybody up in here? Hello? Any fish at the dock? Well, there's something around here. We heard we heard the bing. So now it's just a matter of finding it. We might cast back out there one more time just to see if we can lure something out. I didn't see much of anything back there. There we go. No max cast. All right, 71 feet. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Is this the only guy in town? 
I got a feeling that he's the only guy in town. And he's not what we're looking for. I can say that with authority. So we're going to go ahead and roll, roll this guy in. Take a look a little bit to our side over here. Get that off the screen, and then give a cast out here just in case. I don't feel like we're going to find much, but we'll try. Yeah, this doesn't look too good already. Anything? Nah, there ain't nothing. There ain't shit here. Time to move on. really feel like there should be something here so I'm gonna I'm gonna take one more quick cast out out here on this dock and see if I can come up with something you know it did show on the radar but sometimes you can sometimes you can come up with something make it worth your while. Anybody over here? Nah, there ain't nobody home. Alright. Well, let's, let's go on ahead and move on down. And we'll try up here a little bit. Starting to want, starting to warm up. There was something deep over there. I think we start. They're going to be getting down into these areas pretty soon. Oh, there we go. Oh, rain. Alright. Let's... We're going to keep the bright lure... I'm gonna bring this guy out because he'll drop down. And in, in, in the deep waters, that's what we want. We don't want to. We don't want something that's gonna. Whoa! That was a long cast. Oh, I got a lot of wind behind me. That's why. We don't want to cast. Uh, or we don't want to. We don't want to do the. Uh, the divers because they'll go a little bit. Like, they'll dive down, but you gotta, like, hold them down there. And I like these ones that'll drop down. And then we can kind of pull them up. Man, it's hard to see these fish. Come on off of that. There we go. I don't like it when it gets snagged. We might use that diver after all. And 25 feet's a long dive, but... Come on. There we go. When we're looking for anything, and I'm not seeing anything hiding out right there. Let's go back over here, and we're going to go off to the right. 
Try and scoop us a little something. I'm gonna, yeah, I should learn my lesson on that. I just wasn't paying attention, really. Alright, that should be pretty good. 73. We like it. Alright. That's a big dive, but... We got a couple fish right here, and one of them likes it. Both of them like it. So we got... Well, we got one. At least we won't be wasting our time. Alright, come on in. It's wet out here, man. I know you underwater, but I'm in the rain. I didn't bring no poncho. I'm gonna get sick, so you better come on in so we can get up, get back up. Hey, no, where are you going? Oh, man, come on. Be a pal. Just hop in the boat, and we'll go for a little ride. Alright, well, you know what? You do your thing, man. Just do your thing. Uh, oh, I was lying. Come on back. Come on. Come on back to Papa. Papa Fish. Not Papa Roach. So you can come and be my friend. Come on. Oh, watch out. Man, this is tense. I'm getting getting tired. This fish is wearing me down. I'm getting sick from the rain. There we go. And he's only 3.3. I don't even get to keep him. But that was the one I threw out before. Coming back to waste my time again. says I should wait until the thunderstorm passes. I'm not really a fan of that. I just want a fish. Give me a fish. Anybody over here by the, sp by the spillway? Oh, there we go. Something's happening. Alright, let's get out there and see if we can reel this, reel this mask in. Boy, I just fucking did it again, didn't I? Woo wee! Right on the edge. Alright. I know one of you guys is out here. Just be a pal. And come on over and get on my hook. Fishy, 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 fish. There's one. Oh, bluegill fishy. No, no, no. Alright. Move over this way. Give it the old swisheroo. Alright, there we go. Not too far. Looking for a fish. Whoa, watch out. Some serious lightning. I mean, this, this is like the storm that blew through blew through by my house last night. Alright, so we got, we got these guys. Nope, oh, what is that? That is the one we want. I knew it. I knew it. All right, come on. No, come on. All right, we're going back out for it. We know it's here now. Oh, this is exciting. All right. Get on out there. Get on out there. 69, the magic number. So we know he's coming for us now. 
There he is, right there. There's that dust. There's that mud. He's kicking up that mud. Come on, buddy. Come and get you some of this. You know you want it. There we go. Come on. Oh. Kick that mud up. Come get some. No, I don't see... No, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Come on. Come on. There we... Come on. There we go. Yes. Alright, let's get him in. Let's get him in. Come on. Fish on. Oh, are you tired? Are you... Oh, watch out. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. We're just going to let that work its way down a little bit. Alright. Come on. Alright, he's coming down. He's resting a little bit. No, 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 no. We'll wait. We're not in that big of a hurry. Just keep applying a little bit of pressure. Wait for him to rest. He's getting close. Come on. All right. It's all right. Come on back now. Come on back. I got a sandwich for you. It's a tuna sandwich. I bet you like it. Now, see, the tuna sandwich man got him in. Shit. Should have offered him that from the start. What is he? Oh, it's so good. 7.3. Working our way up. Nice. Alright. Let's move slow along here. Maybe we can catch another one. Any more, you guys? Just trawling. Come on. Alright, ain't nothing there. We got him. Well, let's see how we're looking. 30.6. Ooh, we're falling behind. We need a big fish. The reeds. I'm feeling the reeds, man. I, it hasn't shown anything yet, but I bet there's something. I bet there's something there. Come on. Something to throw at. Let's see what we got, boys. Nope. All right, let's play it cool. Play it cool. Looking for that hot fish. I ain't expecting a whole lot, but I bet there's something here. Oh. Well, you know that you, you think they probably check the weather before they fucking line this tournament up. That's all right. Well, nothing right there. Try over this way. And it said there's something out here, so we're gonna believe it. Alright. This would be the spot. Mm. 
No, there is one there. What is it? Come on up. Come and give a gander. Where are you at? You made all that noise and they ain't even coming to look. Really? Well, that's a little confusing. Let's try going back out there. There was something there. There was something there, and he liked what we had. He, he liked what we had to offer. What? How did it go so? F oh man! All right, we're gonna run a spinner out. That might not be enough. Or it might. Seventy-five. That wind is something fierce. Yeah. I know it's there. He's trying to act like he don't give a shit right now. But I know he wants it. He sees it. It's that great A booty. And he'll give it up. You just watch. He's gonna give it up. Gonna be mine. I'm gonna dig him. Come on. Come and get you some, son. Uh, he don't give a shit about that either, man. I gotta go to old trusty, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's not enough. Yeah, 63. That ain't even to him. 63 feet. Come on, make some noise. Where's he at? Alright, we're gonna do this one more time. I think we got this. We're gonna lure this guy out. And watch. It's gonna be a rainbow trout. If it is, we're gonna catch it anyways. I'm telling you that now. <laughs> we're totally getting this guy. He's coming with us. Yeah, he likes it now. Come on, where are you at? That's him, yeah. Come on. We got it. I know you like it, you just took a bite. Got your secret sauce on it. It's got my secret sauce. Put a little dollop on the end for you. Come on, come on. Yes. You're mine now. You will be mine forever. Oh, man. Only two things make me happy. The destruction of weed beds. And the lamentation of the fish. Come on. Get down. Get down here. Oh, watch out. 
Bronan's gonna reel you in. Ha 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 ha, yes! Alright, what do we got? Look at this guy! Look at this guy! Oh man, that is not average. That is not average. That is well above average. We just got another three pounds. Oh man, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Alright. Well, it is... 1220. We'll look at... Just barely above Randy Oliver. One pound, six ounces. Uh, but it's, you know, it's gonna be okay for now. And, uh... And I guess for today we'll go ahead and take a break. And we'll come back for some more of this tomorrow. And wrap up this tournament. We're looking pretty good so far. So, uh... Thank you guys for joining me for some uh, Super Black Bass. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to give me uh, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, drop a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow or in the near future or in the long future or whatever you make it back. So uh, thanks so much again for coming by and have a great day.